everybody, it's Amy from Winterwood Studio and today I'm going to be opening this package here. Um, this is from Shinhan. Uh, they make watercolors and gouache and other stuff and I don't know if you saw my watercolor battle video or not. I'll link it down below just in case you haven't. Um, but I compared seven different brands of watercolors. And one of those was Shinhan and it was, um, I'll get it. It was this set here of Shinhan watercolors, um, Shinhan professional watercolors. But there was some confusion. Um, there were, so first of all, number one, I said that um, I didn't, wasn't sure if they used the ASTM light fastness rating scale, and then later found out that they did. So correction on that. And then two, I had uh, several comments from viewers saying they didn't think this was actually their professional line. So I reached out to Shinhan just to ask them if this was their professional line or not. And they said it is considered professional, but it's not their highest quality level of professional watercolors. And so uh, I, I, I felt like I hadn't been fair to them in the comparison video, um, putting them up against like Sennelier and um, Daniel Smith and Schminka and all of them. And so they said they would send me some stuff to try. And this box is huge. It's way bigger than I was thinking it was going to be. And it's really heavy too. So I don't know what's in here. I was thinking maybe they'd send like two tubes of watercolors to try or something, but it's pretty hefty. <laughs> So we're going to open it up and see what's inside. Yeah, so I'm really excited to open this and see what's in here and test everything out and actually give them a fair trial. So let's open it and see what's in here. I got this yesterday and I've been waiting it to open until I could film. But the fact that it was so big and so heavy, I've just been itching to get in here and see what's in here. Um... I have no idea. I, I literally don't know what's in here. So we're going to open it. And then they also did send me their 2023 like catalog. So if there's anything that I don't know what it is in here, um, I'm going to look it up in the catalog to make sure I don't make any details wrong. So they sent me this stuff free to try. This isn't a sponsored vid video or anything. They just sent me some stuff to try. And there's so much tape. <laughs> oh my goodness, so much tape. Oh, I got it. <laughs> All right, let's see what's in here. Okay, it looks like there's another wrapped package within a package. And there are just some like foam things to keep it safe in transit. So let's open this one up now and see what's in here. It feels like there's a, I don't know what's in here. Let's see, they must uh, be of the same thought group as my mother who when she's doing Christmas presents or anything uses like a whole roll of tape to wrap everything. Okay let's see what's in here. There's some paper on top. Okay so we have here um, a little brochure about some of their artist brushes and then the Shinhan Professional whoops it says the Shinhan Professional palette. It's got like some little palette travel palettes in here. Okay, is that all the paperwork? It's like opening the card first. Wow, there's lots of goodies in here. <laughs> okay, let's see what's in here. Okay, first of all, there's a beautiful watercolor brush. Wow, that's nice. Let's see if that's in there. Really pretty. Uh, Shinhan Art Pro Series, it says, number 16, round brush. And then there is their PWC Extra Fine Artist Watercolor 518 series in the color Opera. And let's see here. There is a, a Shinhan Artist Series. I think this must be an eraser. Looks like an eraser to me. And this was way, way, way more than I was expecting. This is awesome. This was so nice of them. We'll make sure to give everything a nice trial. There is the Shinhan Touch Liners for Professional 7 Assorted Liner Set. Pigment Ink Water Resistant Archival Quality Acid Free. Hmm. I didn't even know they made liners. You know, me and my ink. I've got a thing about fine liners. I can't wait to try those. 
And there is, I think, another set. There is, oh, they're colors. Shinhan Touch Liners, pigment ink, water resistant, instant dry, and acid free. 12 assorted liner set color brushes. Look at that. You guys, I didn't even know they made any of this stuff. This is so cool. <laughs> so cool. And let's see what else is in here. I think I feel something loose down here. There is, oh, a pencil extender. That's nice. I actually need one. I was just looking at some on uh, Blick and trying to pick one out, but I'm in a, as I mentioned, a new, um, a new supply ban. <laughs> I'm on a new supply ban until July. Uh, I'm trying to save up enough money to have like an emergency fund in case I break any of my equipment again. <laughs> so this is kind of fun because I wasn't going to get to open anything for a while. Um, all right, let's see what else do we have in here. I think I need to open this bag up a little bit more to get this big thing out next. Right. I suspect. What is this? Wow. Look at this, a beautiful paper palette for mixing your paints on. That's awesome. And this. Okay, wait a minute. Yeah, there's a couple big things in here I'm waiting to take out because they look pretty neat. <laughs> what is this? Oh, look at this. They have drawing pencils too. You guys, who knew? That is awesome. They're based out of Korea, I think. This is so cool. And let's see what's this. Okay, so now here's a little piece of paper for the drawing pencils. That is awesome. And then there's some booklets for some things in here, but I think I better... Okay, let's take this out first. Ooh. This is the Shinhan Professional Watercolor Palette. I think it says it holds 35 plus 2 colors. I don't know if there's anything in here or if it's empty, but man, look at that. It's gorgeous. Let's open this up and see what's in here. Wow. Now that's gonna meet all of your mixing needs. This is super awesome, look at that. That is a beautiful palette. It feels like it's enamel, metal enamel, which is my favorite. Wow, that is really cool, really cool. Okay, and now I save what I think is probably, from what I can see, the two most exciting things for the end here. And we have, ooh, this is their premium PWC Extra Fine Artist Watercolors. And this is a set of six, it says. Let's open that up and see what's in there. Oh, it's tape shut. Okay. Ooh, their series A, let's see, what is this? So there's burnt sienna, violet, cobalt blue, viridian hue, permanent yellow light, and permanent red. And there are the colors in there. Isn't that a pretty set? So pretty. I can't wait to try them. And then there was a little booklet that came with them. They said this is their most premium, I think. This is the little booklet that came with them. Let's open this up and take a look at this. So there's the cover. And it does have all the light fastness ratings on here already, I can see. You, you know how I am about the light fastness. And like I said, I did reach out to them. They do use the ASTM light fastness rating system. So a three is the highest degree, two is normal degree, and one is low degree of light fastness. Boy, this is really nice. They have everything you could possibly need to know all here. Transparency. Very nice. And then, so did I show the, I think I did. But just in case I didn't show it, let's show the inside first. Look at, so nice. All the colors. 
Yeah, so it's got the co the color name on the back, the light fastness, the transparency, what the pigments are, and the chemical description. So everything you could want to know is on here. This is their professional line, which is the one I bought, but this is their PWC line, which is their extra fine. So these are professional. They said they that because they're um, more inexpensive, they felt like it had gotten a little bit of a bad rap with uh, YouTubers and people on social media saying it's not professional level. And it is professional level with everything you need to know, but it's not their highest quality level, they said. So the, their highest quality is the PWC. And then again, this comes with a beautiful color chart with all the info that you could possibly need to know. Look at all the colors. So pretty, so nice. And then again, the same kind of table on the back. A table with all the info you would need to know again for these watercolors. And that's this little set here. This is the one they sent me to try. Those are their finest quality level. And then there's one more exciting thing in here. It's their Shinhan Professional Designers gouache. And I've actually been getting very heavily into gouache lately and I cannot wait to try these. I've tried the Winsor Newton Artist Designer gouache and then I started back in the day when I was first learning with the Himi Maya gouache. Um, but I haven't tried any other brands, so this will be really exciting to try. I can't wait to try it. Let's see what colors are in here. Are you ready to see the pretty colors? <gasps> Look at, and they're big tubes too. Look at you guys. So pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. All right, and then it looks like these have light fastness ratings on the outside as well. And there was a nice booklet that came with it. They're designer's gouache and I think it's probably got the same info. Yep, same. Light fastness, transparency. This is awesome. I cannot wait. To, I'm super excited to try these gouache. Gouaches? Gouache? Gouache tubes? Gouaches? <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's highest degree of light fa fastness is four, high degree is three, normal is two, and one is low. And I cannot wait to try them. Let's just take a look at these here. So even their purple is a three. That's great. Three. So these should all be fine to use with no fading um, at all. Boy, I'm super excited to try these. You guys. <laughs> wow, that was super generous and super kind of them to send that to me. I thought they were just going to send like a couple tubes of stuff. <laughs> I'm so excited to try, to try all of this, you guys. That is everything in the box. Why don't I take you from here to over there, and we will do some swatching, and maybe if we have time, we'll do um, a speed painting or something. So let's go try these. I'm super excited. <laughs> okay, so we're over here at my work desk, and I've got my Arches paper so I can give it a fair trial. And I have cleaned up my palettes, and I've got some water, and I'm trying to decide how I want to do this. I think I just want to try swatching some of the watercolors in here first and probably the gouache. I'm going to want to test the fine liners as well. Um, I'm not sure how long this video is going to be. I don't know if I'll have time for a speed painting at the end or not, but we will see. Actually, I didn't need to, I didn't need to clean out my palette, so I'm going to use this. Okay, so we are going to start with the watercolors. So let's get everything else out of the way. This is a beautiful brush, but a little big for what I want to do. Let's start with my Princeton Aqua Elite. And we are going to start just doing some swatching on here. So let's get one of these out. I'm not going to tape it down because I'm not going to do a full-on wet. So let's start by putting... A little dab of each of these in one of the wells. They do have the light fastness rating right on the tube here, just like I like to see. And the pigment numbers on the back. So 
There's no separation of pigment and binder in any of those, so that is good. All right, let's start. Let's start. Hmm. Let's just do, we'll start with pure pigment and then wash it down with the water on the brush. This is an opera rose color and these are never light fast in any brand, but they sure are beautiful. A nice red. Now we'll move on to the yellow. These are some very vibrant, beautiful colors. You can tell they're super highly pigmented. And they are performing much better than the Shinhan watercolors that I had had in my watercolor battle video. Um, I think these, this, this set that they sent me, the PWC, could have more than stood up to the other brands of watercolors in that first video. So, it's kind of a shame I didn't have them for that video, but I'm getting to try them now. Purple. And one last color here. I would guess this is like a burnt sienna. I didn't look at the label, but I'm that's what it looks like to me. I realized I might have cut off the Yeah, I think I did. Sorry if you didn't if there wasn't footage of doing the swatches of the purple and brown. Sorry about that. Um, I decided to draw in a little goldfinch, and I'm going to use their 0.1 brown liner to do the ink. Actually, before I do that, let's lighten up the line a little. Okay, so that's all lightened up, and I am going to ink this with this pretty brown. We'll let that dry for about 20 minutes and then we'll go over it with the watercolors. Okay, I'm going to start with a light yellow wash all over the yellow parts of the bird. Okay, we'll give that a minute to dry and while we do that we're going to do um, a little bit of this color or the beak and leg. Let's desaturate that a little bit with a little bit of blue. Okay, I'm switching to a smaller paintbrush here with this dark gray color I mixed up. This was some of the blue, the purple, and the burnt sienna. Okay, so that is the first layer. Now we're gonna do a second layer. Okay, 
so I am doing this like I would a mixed media piece because this is going to be a mixed media piece. I'm using, I'm going to use watercolor, gouache, and probably some colored pencil on top as well. Okay, that's my watercolor layer. I'm going to let that dry and then I will see if I want to add any gouache or colored pencil. Okay, so while that's drying, I thought we could swatch the gouache in my painter's color diary. Let's see. I saved the first two pages for my Daniel Smith watercolors. Ooh, it stuck a little. That's my acrylic gouache. It must not have been totally shut dry when I shut it. I thought it was though. Okay, we'll start on this page. We'll do a little dab of each over here. And we'll do, I guess, oh, in my last gouache one, I did pure gouache and then I did um, diluted with water because I do use my gouache like that when I take it um, plain air painting. But somebody else asked me if the next time I do it, if I could mix it with white. So that is what we will do this time. Oh, if I'm not going to drop the caps all over. I want to use different brushes for this. I prefer not to use the same, my nice watercolor brushes with gouache if I can help it. You probably can't see what I'm doing. There, now you can see. I'm just putting a little dab of each gouache out. Again, they have the light fast ratings on the tube. There, there are all the colors of gouache. And let's switch to this paintbrush here. Maybe I could just rotate that so you can still see. Word of, okay. So, actually I'm gonna need, eh, we'll figure it out in a minute.
Well, these are all really beautiful colors. Um, just, and then the watercolors from the Opera On are just really pigmented, really smooth, really beautiful. I'm very impressed with the watercolors and the gouache. The gouache is pretty too. I like how smooth these lay down. There's no granulation in these, really maybe a little bit in this cobalt blue, um, which makes these really nice for uh, botanical work. So if you paint botanical pieces, these would be great for that. Um, let's finish this guy up with a little gouache. So there is a little goldfinch done in Shinhan watercolors and gouache and it turned out beautifully. I was really happy with all of these paints. I'll definitely be using these again. I may even be going through and possibly placing an order for some of the more light fast colors. I'd definitely like to try more of all of them. Um, so if you haven't tried the Shinhan brand of their PWC watercolors and their gouache. I do highly recommend them um, and I'm so glad that I reached out to Shinhan and they were willing to send me some stuff to try because I do not think I gave them a fair trial in my watercolor video, um, the watercolor bat battle video. These are great. I definitely recommend them. So thanks for being here with me today. I hope you had a great time. If you'd like to join us over on my Patreon, we're having lots of fun over there. We are doing our monthly creativity journaling prompt and then a monthly art journaling prompt. We also have the sketchbook club where we have a monthly theme and three weekly prompts for sketching. And then we post our art and chat over in our Discord and Facebook groups. And I also give you four reference photos I take myself to use for whatever you feel like for your art. And I provide exclusive tutorials over there as well. Everything is all only $4 right now. Um, and we'd love to have you over there and get to know you better if you'd like to join us. If you haven't hit the like and subscribe button and you found this video useful or helpful in any way, please hit that thumbs up or subscribe or leave a comment. All of those things help YouTube to know that this is quality content and it helps push the video a little bit higher in the algorithm so more people see it and that helps support my channel. Until next time, happy creating! Mm -hmm.